Okay, in the small room again we have our little story of going to the coffee shop and listening to the jazz combo and buying your bread and violin and reading a book and then going to the library and reading another book and leaving the library and you walk over here close like a, and you uh, get in your car that's supposed to be a car and you drive over the bridge and past the esplanade and you look out of your window you're going two miles an hour because it's rush hour and you go over this bridge or that bridge and through the woods to grandmother's house and there's grandmother's house you're finally home so this represents the home sweet home approach to our um, show. I, I've got a few things I can put up of um, suburbs in the area and maybe a couple residences, I'm not really sure. And then we get to start it all over again. So you get in your car, you stop and go traffic. That's the sunrise, not the sunset. Here, these were both done at sunset, but we're pretending that going west, then going east here. And you go past the Boston Harbor and the bridge that's out of order, and then you have to wait for the other bridge, and then you go over the Zakem Bridge, which is right there in your car, and then I'm gonna I have other car images, Lovejoy Wharf, Suburban. So the cars will feature here. They were originally going to feature elsewhere, but they're going to feature, feature right there. And then I'm running out of room. I'm going to, right here, there's going to be all sorts of fun stuff and even more fun stuff there. And I may not have room to put uh, some things that I wanted to put in of my own, but I don't care. I, I trip over them every day. I don't need to know. I will, um, I think what I'm going to do in the column, this is going to be the COVID column. So these are going to be things we did uh, that will be based on prompts that we were given. And some of them were like, draw the holidays or draw something green for St. Patrick's Day, I think. And another one was, uh, one was draw cars. That's where I, I may put them here instead of on the column. And another one was, I don't know, what do I have here? Draw Cape Cod. I don't have any submissions for that one though, but that was a virtual prompt. I, I did something, but I, I didn't do what you think I did, so you'll see. And then right here will be how uh, some of these letters were made by two people. Uh, Gina and I made letters on a live YouTube channel, so we were showing the world drawings two at a time instead of just one at a time. We doubled the output. So at some point, this will all be done and the floor will be swept and everything will be up off the floor and on the wall. And I'll comb my hair. Yeah, I, I can hear you. What hair, you're saying. I'll comb it anyway. Damn you. And I will, uh, it'll be lovely. What do you think? So the leech mirror, the people that don't drive will take the tea. That'll go somewhere. I don't know where that pumpkin's gonna go. You know, I do know where that's gonna go, but there's there's a lot of things I wanted to do here, and maybe I can squeeze them in on this wall. But we'll see. Um, what my neighbors in my building and I have done is the urban sketchers in the group uh, missed urban sketching when we were in lockdown. 
So Gina and I and Adam and I and Martha and I um, and Gus and I went out on our own. Uh, and we did tell people in the group about our little trips, but invited, inviting them to come, but they were wisely staying at home. Um, but since Gina and I live across the hall, we had more than enough time to infect each other, I suppose. But we didn't. So there, we could draw anyway. So this is a fun room. This is almost going to be completely connected. There may be a little gap or two, but uh, if I don't have something to fill exactly that gap, your brain can do it for you. So that's the plan. Bye.